Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPCB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. So I don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways, absolutely monster move here today. And uh, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and the biggest volume this chart has had in a very, very long time. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's get some levels of support and resistance mapped out. First area of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey Clay, what make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be this area right here at about $3.50 can continue to hold. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below it, I'm not saying that the overall chart is ruined or anything like that. However, best case in terms of you know appearance of the bulls being the strongest, you wanna see the price stay up above $3.50. Taking a step back, looking at the big picture of it all and really just simplifying things going forward. So let's apply the KISS method here, keep it simple, stupid. If you do just care about big picture of it all, watch that purple line right there, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average, keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So if you just care about the grand scope of it all, like I said, then the easiest way to look at all this is as long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves itself forward, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control, full strength. However you can best visualize that, no questions asked. Again, yeah, if the price can stay above 350, that would by far be the best, but at the end of the day, as long as the price from the grand scope of things, viewpoint stays above that purple line, then the trend is fully in the bulls' favor. Now, what about areas of resistance? As it stands right now, the majority of sellers seem to be hanging out right up here around $4.15. I realize the price did technically go up above that level a couple of times, but on the flip side, the price also didn't quite hit it a couple of times. So I'm just trying to split the difference there and call it 4.15. I mean, if you wanna call it one of these highs, that's fine. But for me, the main point of price congestion is right around that area. So that'll be the key hurdle to cross over going forward. All in all, anyway, slice it. Nice way to start off the week. We'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.